Vipassana meditation, um, using our flower, Vipassana, Sanskrit to English is real loose. So um, how things really are when we look at things. So we generally just pass through looking and taking in a very little bit of our environment. If we tried to take in everything that deeply, we would be overload all the time but we'll we'll start with about just five minutes or so of the pasana meditation which is looking at something and i love looking at flowers they're so deep so checking it out looking at all of those things that would involve our senses especially eyes, but we can take in textures, smells. Shapes, forms, colors, the depth of those colors. Getting down into the minutia, the little details. I'm going to let the eyes get softer and softer so that everything around the object of our attention is getting blurry. It's almost as if we're crossing our eyes. If you went to a retreat and they did a Vipassana meditation, they might do it for 10, 20, 30 minutes or more. And sometimes it's a candle flame. You're looking at that candle flame for a long time. Your eyes will water. Here with just about five minutes, we probably won't get to that depth of the Vipassana. Shadows, the movement of our own hands, creating a vibration in the already vibrating object. Everything alive has a vibration. Bless you. Eyes fixed, we may start to really notice our breath as well. To the end of our practice, we may come back to our Vipassana if we choose. At this time, we can set that down. Um, it might go actually right in front of us if we want to use that as a visual focal point today. Knowing if we have a visual focal point to come back to, sometimes that helps bring our mind back into ourselves. Well, let's find our feet. And 
tall spine, bringing those shoulders back and down, and adding in that reminder that this is the practice. Letting go of perfectionism, letting go of expectations and competition and any self-judgment. Working throughout our practice today on breath and mindfulness of movement. And trying to stay focused, stay with the practice, even in this public space where there are always distractions. So we'll start to wiggle our toes, maybe keep those eyes a little soft. If we've moved our flower out front, there's a little bit of color that we might see there. And we're just wiggling feet around, maybe feeling texture of the ground. And then planting those feet, sitting up tall, moving shoulders back, down into their sockets. And we'll do a crosswalk look as we're feeling into the sides of our neck this morning, imagining we're at a crosswalk and looking right and left and back to the right and left. Vagus nerve, longest nerve in the body, breaking off into two parts here, sides of our neck. We don't want to push too hard into this space, but this is activating that space of the vagal nerve, vagus, vagal tone. Calming the nervous system. A few times a day, maybe doing this crosswalk look. Doesn't have to be fast. In fact, it should be kind of slow. Finding a fixed focal point as we turn to each side. Just one more time, each side. Back to tall spine, crown reaching, feeling the belly come in and up. And letting the belly soften, maybe taking the hand to that navel space and feeling breath move. On the in breath, we're expanding into the belly. Out breath, retraction, the pulling in of navel center. And we'll let the hand return to the thighs, maybe pulling hands forward. We'll scoop the belly in. Tuck the chin and come to a cat pose. Shoulders lifting up forward, making that space across the shoulders. Mid back pushing back. And on our inhale, coming to our cow pose. Chest pushing forward, shoulders back and down. As the chin lifts, we're not crunching into the backs of our neck. Softer there. We'll move. Move with our breath. Exhaling cat. Inhaling cow. Finding the flow of the poses that works with our breath. Pace.
I might start to come into this deeper sounding breath where we hear the breath come in and out. Ujjayi breath. Last set. Coming back to meet tall spine. We'll bring the backs of the hands to the rib cage and feel the breath in the sides of the body. Stretching our wrists here as well. Any wrist pain, the F just reaching around helps. If there's tension in the shoulders, see if lifting the head will take some of that out. Remembering we're never stuck. If there's pain, we need to modify or come out. Ribs should be moving outward. So with this stance, whether we're Backs of hands are holding on. We can feel that inhale expanding out the sides. End of the exhale, letting hands shake out. Wanting shoulders wiggle a little bit. Maybe there's some space being made between earlobes and shoulders. And we'll pull the fingertips down toward the ground, pressing through the feet, creating the dynamic tension in the body. Legs active, belly active, just not squeezing into the jaw. Bring some space up and down the sides of the neck. Feeling the back, the strength of our backs and legs. On the next inhale, our right arm will come up and we'll lift high. Remembering if we need to take care of that shoulder, we're going to soften that elbow. Left shoulder is going to hang down. We're trying to create some space between the ribs. Right hip, should stay at the, the chair, the seat. As that arm reaches, and maybe it comes over, we make space in the armpit and between each of the ribs. And we feel breath move in the right side. Some constriction in that left side. Noticing any tension we might be harboring in the left side of the neck. Letting that left arm feel heavy. Any numbness, we need to come out. Our next exhale, we'll let that arm, right arm, come back down. Check it back out. Just little wiggles. Maybe moving shoulders in circles. What would feel good here? Coming back to mountain when you're ready. Eyes gazing. Or closed. Engagement of the legs. The torso, the crown lifting. Feeling the feet pressing in, quads active. And the next inhale, our left arm will come up, bending 
elbow if we need to, right arm going really soft, shoulder just hanging, left arm finding length. Again, any numbness or coming out, I feel different on this side. We're trying to find that space in between the ribs on the left side. We start to feel tingling, bend the elbow, lengthen across the shoulder. Maybe the shoulder allows us to come back up and maybe not. With each side, listening to the body. Breathing into left side rib cage. Feeling that constriction in the right side. Making our adjustments as needed. Breath flows. And that's our next exhale that we return to mountain. Active, engaged, mountain pose. Shoulders down the back, navel center, in, up. Legs engaged, jaw soft. A little bit of space between the teeth. Feeling strength in the body, breath flowing. Spine stacking up. And let's release that tension. We'll bring legs wide. Reset the rear, coming to our cowboy pose. Lifting our toes. Spreading toes out as we spread fingers out here. Maybe taking the gaze to the right side palm and letting our toes relax down. Looking at those pathways in our right hand. All the little lines, telling stories. Feeling breath. Showing some gratitude to this right hand today. What's it done already this morning? Noticing across the hips. Into belly breath. We can find some softness in the low back, but a lengthening of the spine. That squeeze into the hip region. Move the eyes back to center. Maybe this takes us to a spot on the floor. If our flower's out there, maybe we're back to looking deeply at the shapes and colors, the design quality of our flower. Breath goes deeper wider and we feel the breath into the very low back the mid back and up into and across the shoulders and we'll take our gaze over to the left hand Maybe this hand tells a little different story. The lines, perhaps some scars, other jewelry. Showing some gratitude to this side. Breath flowing. As we exhale and return to center, we might bring fingertips to the floor. Noticing a release, perhaps of our low backs. We might scoop the belly and tuck the chin, arching into a modification of our cat pose, feeling breath flow up and down the spine here. Any tension in the jaw, making adjustments 
in the shoulders to release that tension. One hand at a time. We come up, we return to cowboy and then inhale all the way up. Baby walk the feet back in. So the knees are over ankles, shoulders back and down. Finding our breath here again. Just resting hands at the thighs. Feeling perhaps the biggest breath we've taken in all day. Maybe we're noticing scents, smells in our environment, sounds. Maybe we're noticing still the feel into the fingertips of touching the floor and the way the feet feel on this floor space. We return to mountain pose, the eyes gaze soft and we'll sweep up, let the eyes follow hands, press the hands together and pull to heart center on the exhale. We'll inhale up and exhale down, reminding ourselves that if those shoulders hurt, we're not taking that full rotation. Letting eyes follow hands just for a few more breaths. And then perhaps closing eyes and keeping the chin fixed over the chest, noticing if we can still find the palms touching, feeling, and pulling to heart center. Awareness, inner eye space, knowing where we are. And our next exhale, we'll come to our cactus arms. Squeezing back. Taking left hand to the arm of the seed and right hand to the outer thigh, left side, offering a twist here. Remember the head comes back last. We're not pulling too hard into the side of the neck. Just finding its natural turn today. And moving into deeper breath. Deeper into the belly. Finding breath move into belly space. Maybe just for today, backing off about an inch. Letting the right shoulder relax. Just feeling all that movement of breath through the chest and lower belly. And also through the back. End of the next exhale, we'll unwind. Shrug shoulders, roll back, roll down. Take right hand to the arm, left hand, arm of the seat, left hand to the right thigh, finding the twist. Taking a couple breaths in our more, more full twist. And then experimenting with that backing off just about an inch. Just in the belly, allowing some space for breath to move deeper.
unwinding on the exhale, coming back to our mountain, a tall spine, maybe eyes closed or just soft. Whatever feels better to really be able to look inward from our feet, up our legs, into that bend of the hips, up the spine, the sides of the body, the shoulders, the arms, the fingertips, up into the neck, the whole face, the whole head, feeling the whole body strong, alert. Releasing tension, opening eyes, and sweep up. And on our exhale, draw that right knee up. Flexion into the foot, toes turning up to the side, around and around. Whatever the hip allows, maybe that foot stays pretty low today. Maybe we're really pulling in. What feels right? Ankle movements, and we'll extend that leg, maybe holding on under the thigh, maybe not using quad strength here, core strength. And same thing, moving a foot around. Directing the music. your own concerto today. Maybe you're directing the birds. <laughs> you want to set that right foot down, feeling differences in right hip, left hip, the strength of the right leg. Breathing into that right foot. Noticing its energy. When we're ready, bringing left leg up, holding under across the shin, moving that ankle around, opening it up. Crown of the head still lifting. Up and down, around and around, changing our sides whenever we need to. And as we release, we can hold on under the leg, extend, or just use the strength of the quad, the belly. And again, movement of the ankle, opening, squeezing toes. Holding on any time we need to. Resting any time we need to as well. We'll exhale and set it down. Finding tall spine, hands just resting, opening across the chest. Breathe. We'll stretch that left leg out and bring the body forward. Whatever forward looks like, turning those left toes back. Whether we can fold completely over, just find a little bit of length, doesn't matter. Releasing the side, we'll go to the other side, right leg extension, feeling the back of the heel, reaching the crown forward, maybe moving closer. If we've got that flexion today, a reminder that it's a practice.
Inhaling, we come up. We'll find tall spine, shrug shoulders. Feeling any residual tension in those shoulders, rolling back, rolling down, adding a twist to one side. Big breath in and out. End of the exhale, returning to center and twisting to the other side. Keeping the crown lifted, that space of the chest open, Finding our big breath here. Full in, full out, end of the exhale, unfurling, moving into a cat pose. Scooping, scooping in. Breathing up and down the spine. Coming to cow. Chest pressing forward, not crunching into the neck, just feeling that lift. Shoulders down, big breath in and out. End of the exhale, finding tall spine. If we need to stay in the seat today for our warriors, we'll turn right leg. Otherwise, we'll come to the back of our chair. We move to warriors today, right foot steps straight back, just getting a little lunge here. Maybe the heel comes to the floor, maybe it's still lifted, as long as we're feeling into the calf. That's where we're looking today in the lunge. We'll step up. And then the left foot steps back. So we can be taller, or we can set to if we've got hamstring and calf flexibility, that heel might go down. Still open in the right knee, noticing if we're creating neck and shoulder tension, maybe we're not breathing. Feeling that gentle arch, low back. Next inhale, we'll step up. We'll step right foot way back and turn the heel, turn the toes to the right, moving into our warrior two. So the right arm stretches back. Left arm may come forward. We'll turn the chin over the shoulder and look past those fingers. Checking out that front knee, making sure but it's not rolling inward, knowing we can hold the chair. Active engagement of our arms, the reaching across the chest, feeling the breath move. And releasing that left hand, right hand comes forward. Let's come to the ball of that right foot and increase our lunge. Right knee, left knee, whoops, left knee, right over the ankle. Hips are square. Almost bring that right foot back up. Breathing. Noticing our own breath, awareness of what's going on around us and our reaction. Left foot steps back as we turn that heel in, we're opening through that right knee, bringing left arm back, finding parallel with the ground and then coming up with that right hand. Softening our gaze just to the fingertips. Open in the knee. Feeling Wonder Woman power here. Stretching across the chest, opening heart center, reaching across. 
Feeling strong in both legs, noticing if left hip is trying to ride upward, level out those hips. Breathe, feel grounded. Releasing the hands, bringing forward, making that twist, that turn back. So we're on the ball of the left foot, feeling a little more into that stretch of the left leg. Strong in the right leg, really didn't move its position. Soft face, breath moving. We'll step up, finding mountain pose. Strong here, lifting up, growing a little bit taller, soft knees. Quads engage, feet engaged, but toes aren't crunching. Maybe those big toes plant and the little toes plant. So we feel stretching out of toes. Releasing that tension from our chair to the side and come to the front part of the seat. Holding on to those chair handles, the arms of the chair, knees just softly bend. So we're feeling the rear come back and stretch into the low back. Three breaths up and down the spine. As we inhale that fourth breath, we might take the hands to the seat, stretch the fingers out. Feet may walk back just a little bit. We soften those knees a little bit more. Press back through the rear, finding open space in the armpits. Again, breathing three big breaths here. And coming up, walking the feet just a little bit forward. Maybe we come to elbows. We might clasp the hands. If we're clasping hands, little fingers are one right in front of the other so that the hand, the bottom of the hand is flat. The little fingers stack. And then we can stack up without squishing one of the little fingers. So we're in this dolphin pose using our chair. Knees bend as much as we need them to as we press the rear back. Wow, nice odor. <laughs> Head may rest. We may vomit. <laughs> Sensations galore. Sorry, video. <laughs> when you taste it, you gotta say something. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out of my mouth. We'll inhale and come up, keeping hands at the seat, little soft bend, maybe up and down. Feeling into knees, making sure we're taking care of those knees and hips. They're all lined up. And we'll rise up, moving chair back to its original position. And find our balancing pose today. We're not seated yet. <laughs> I mean, we can be, but balancing, holding on to the seat. We're just going to lift right knee and open it out. So feeling into left foot. Uh, 
if we're balanced, challenged, keeping that chair the way we had it and just bringing the knee to the seat would be a great start to finding our balance here, maybe opening, closing, finding some hip strength here or building that. Once we come back to center, let's just push the foot back. We don't have to reach really high. Maybe the toes are close to the ground. As we lift, the body is coming forward. We're pushing through the heel. Preparation for a warrior three. Warrior three, we would be reaching out. And hold on. Let's come out to the pose. Find stability, both feet. Breathing in, breathing out, noticing the breeze. Wafting away the stench. Sometimes you just got to take a little stink. <laughs> Thank you, garbage truck. Yeah. Let's we'll shift our weight to the right foot. Left knee comes up. Flexion into that foot. Maybe it's just a lift up and down. Then and out. Noticing the movement or lack thereof in our hip. We'll push it back, holding here that flexion, noticing how we're centered or not. Soften that standing knee just a little bit. We're not locking here, we're holding on or reaching out. Knowing the chair's there. Warrior three, any version, any height. And we release out. Bringing legs wide. Sometimes those warrior threes can create some tension in low back. Let's come to a wide knee, squat, breathing up, breathing up and down with our movement, feeling those inner thighs, the planting of the feet. We don't have to go too deep. Knees track over toes. Noticing breathing pattern, exhale down, inhale up. Resting any time. Last time. Back to standing. Taking left hand to the seat. Right arm. Lifting up. Finding a little deeper crescent. Lateral flexion. Let it come down. We'll take right leg over the left. Feel a zipping up. And then bring that right arm back up. That crescent shape. Uh, 
breath still flows. Failing. Come down. Back to mountain. Take a moment, a couple of breaths to feel the differences in the sides. Allow the breeze float over the skin to feel it. It's happening anyway. Left arm. We'll inhale up. Find our crescent, our lateral flexion. Breath flows. Exhaling down, bringing left leg over the right, zipping up through the thighs, and taking that left arm back up. Pressing open through the left side body. That's the deepest breath of the day. Fully exhaling, releasing back into standing mountain pose. As we return to our seat. We'll shrug our shoulders up, back and down. We'll sweep the arms up. And find a forward fold. Maybe those fingers sweep down and touch the ground. Maybe they're not even close, wherever they are. We just notice. And we'll sweep back up on the inhale. And exhale to heart center. Reaching back. Maybe we clasp hands. Maybe we hold the seat. Opening up the chest. Breathing here, noticing any sensations across the shoulders, across the chest. Letting the face look upward. Breathing to open the chest. Squeezing shoulders. We'll tuck the chin and lengthen the back of the neck. Find some space. Release. Come back to our cowboy pose. Arching the back in cowboy. Adding a cat pose. Take the right hand to the calf. And lift the left arm out to the side, maybe reaching behind. Exhale, come back to cowboy. Cow pose here, pressing the belly through those widened legs, shoulders back, crown. Pressing upward, maybe back just a little bit, not crunching into the neck. Releasing that tension, left hand to the calf, maybe up just right around that ankle. And the right arm reaches out and maybe up. Feeling breath here, the opening of the side, that twirling of the torso. Release back into cowboy. Lengthening from the tailbone to the crown. Breath just flowing, just like that breeze floating through.
we have our flower handy. We'll bring it back up. We may just sit back as long as our feet are touching the ground. If we can find an easy seat. <laughs> Welcome back to our Vipassana, Vipassana meditation. As the farm starts to get busier, opening time, we may have a harder time staying focused, all kinds of things to distract us, just like in everyday life. Whether it be the laundry or the dishes or somebody talking or whatever it is that keeps us from focusing, from grounding. We find ourselves distracted a lot. Taking a few minutes each day. It wouldn't have to be a flower. It could be any object of meditation. It can be closed eyes. Just finding a few minutes to breathe. The pasana of a natural object brings us closer to that connection that we have with the earth. We are not separate. The plants go through a little faster life cycle. Catching the beauty here. Little intricacies. Not that we don't notice the slamming doors, the voices, the cars, the other distraction. We notice, we're just able to move past it. You may let the eyes rest or continue. Just feeling our breath here, noticing our bodies, noticing the sounds around us. Noticing what we can pick out. Maybe we know the songs of the birds. sound of someone's voice. 
the opening or closing of doors. When we close off visual sensation, we may notice more of the other senses, the sounds, the smells, the tastes, the touch. Taking this time to feel more alive, more human, more a part of this vast planet and universe. Feeling our connection with all of it. Finding the body back into a tall seat. Taking a couple more deep breaths. We'll bring the hands to prayer at heart center. The light in me honors the light and all of you. Thanks for coming today. Namaste.